I'm Joshua, I'm the team programmer and I'm also the team leader. I'm Ranish and I'm the builder. I'm Jamie Shun and I'm the designer. So the system we created consists of three robots. One is the mech suit, one is alpha and one was beta. MAC stands for Mechanically Enhanced Crisis Handler. The MAC suit, its main components are its four pneumatic pistons. This will allow him to carry objects three times his strength. The suit also has a temperature sensor, a humidity sensor and a flame sensor. These are controlled by an Arduino Uno. This helmet has a light sensor on it and when it is too dark, when there's a power failure and the lights go off, the backup lights on the suit will turn on. So the next robot is Alpha V3. This robot will basically explore the mines first before the miners come in. There's three ultrasonic sensors which will allow the robot to move autonomously. It has a GoPro Hero 4 camera which will relay views to the tablet behind the suit. And the last one is it has a gas sensor. This gas sensor will detect any harmful gases in the mine and it will send a signal to the mask which will turn on. So the third robot in our project is Beta. Beta was designed as a contingency plan in the event that the mech suit malfunctions or the operator the suit sustains injury during a cave-in. So when this happens, the beacon is immediately activated and the drone, since it's already flying up the mine, it can detect the signals. We will then clock the GPS coordinates. The command centre will then take those coordinates and find exactly where the miners are. This process used to take 50-60 days without this technology. So now we can narrow it down to a maximum of a day. Basically, Project Max is the key to a new age of effective mining and mining safety. This competition is called uh, World Robot Olympiad. So it's an annual competition. It started in the year 2004. This year, the team was Robot Explorers. We had a choice of either doing petroleum or mining. We decided to go with mining since it was a very underdeveloped field. And we came up with the idea to why not build a robot on a person to use when they go into a mine also to help them with their job and to save them if they are in emergency. During the closing ceremony at the World Robot Olympia 2015, they announced Germany was third and then they announced India was second. So then we went automatically, we knew we were first. So that was the happiest feeling ever. We owe a debt of gratitude to the unofficial members of the team, which are the parents and his brother, our coach. Without their loyal support, we would never be able to make it this far. And we have to go through a lot of trials and errors. Seeing it Working in the end ultimately makes you feel like you're on top of the world. Inventing, you need to be curious. You need to be curious to find out how things work. I was surprised how what you could build, what you could do with building blocks, motors and so on. The invention field in Malaysia is quite small for the time being. There isn't much support from the government and the private sectors. But I do hope in the future people are encouraged to take part in this kind of fields. Create more things to make their lives easier. Make it something where you can be proud of. It's something that Malaysians can be proud of.